Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. We're going to try and finish up this puppy <laughs> as quick as possible. Uh, sorry it's taken so long. Uh, I hope you're enjoying uh, the content and finding it useful. And if you are, please, please uh, hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment, please. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and uh, share the video, absolutely. Let's uh, get this out there and maybe some other people can learn something from it. So... Uh, let's get going on it. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch back to our layer here. We'll bring back our top now since we hit it uh, earlier. Uh, and then we'll bring back our uh, bottom uh, two uh, things that down here. The reason why we did not flow them up here, of course, what, again, was because uh, if we flew it, laid them out straight and then flowed them up to the top like we did with the the you know ring originally uh it would have distorted them a little too much we want to keep the uh these down here the design right in here a little bit more tighter right not not so flowed apart and everything uh so let's get going uh we're going to go ahead and hide this layer and we'll hide that layer as well because we're not really needing it at this point uh so what we're going to do basically is kind of draw out everything that we want here and then we'll project it to the top and then uh, lay it all out uh, uh, with the profiles and stuff like that piping profiles uh, some different stuff uh, so we don't want this curve right in here and actually we're just going to go ahead and uh, get rid of this one because we only want to work off again one quarter of the ring or the item uh, that way we can it'll make it easier on ourselves right so we're going to take this and we are going to go ahead and split it uh, with our oval there and get rid get rid of uh, well uh so let's do that again we're gonna i'll just click over here <laughs> uh and then uh, we're going to select that select objects to split hit enter and then this one and enter and then get rid of this Oh, that's not what I wanted to get rid of. What am I doing? Okay, sorry. We'll actually join these back together. Well, we'll just undo it. That'll be easier for us. So we want this split with this and then hit enter so we can get rid of this piece here, right? We don't want it. Uh, and we could go ahead and split it, but, you know, it'll be good reference for us, right? So we'll just leave it there. Uh, and now we want to draw a little design in here, right? So we're going to go up to gems and we're just going to grab another gem because we just want the offset curve again. We're going to grab a marquee this time and we are going to shrink this puppy down real small to get going with it, right? And then we'll just drag it up somewhere in our little oval here. Uh, somewhere like around here. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead, uh, click on our viewport and then hit enter. So that'll accept that. And we'll grab that, uh, gemstone and do an offset curve, click on our viewport and hit enter. And then we'll get rid of the gem. We don't need it. Uh, okay. So we have this and now we want to maybe grab a little, you know, I, I'm like I said, I'm going to go with a very, very simple design, but you could do all kinds of things with this. Uh, I'm going to grab a circle uh and then just kind of pick a spot out here and kind of you know you might want to turn on grid snaps i have them on actually at a point uh zero a point one so, so that helps out a little bit and then i'll draw me a little circle something like this right and then i'm going to take a line and i am going to draw a line from quad to quad i'm going to make sure that's on my quad and then this one over here so we are quad snaps on down here so we have that there right and we're going to have to do some manipulation obviously because this isn't going to flow exactly right so we'll just go ahead select this we'll go to transform we'll go to the old uh transform right uh and we will go ahead and select polar array a number of items let's see polar array uh, center of polar array will be our center of that line there right and then number of items let's see one two three four five six seven seven maybe so let's type in seven and see what that gives us and then we'll just go ahead and hit uh, enter and that gives us something like that i don't really want seven i don't think uh so let's uh change that to a uh, six and see what that looks like 
Yeah, that's what I want because I want this one going into my uh, head for my diamond, right? And then we'll just go ahead and then hit enter on that. Now, be actually, before I did that, I should have probably went up here and kind of smoothed those edges because probably when we flow them to the top, we're going to have to do it anyway because it will distort the piping or whatever. So let's go ahead and uh, back one real quick and get rid of that uh, array and we'll go to curves and we'll go to clean up here and we'll do a little let's first grab this and nuke it yeah maybe nuke it it should be okay uh let's see uh, we'll cancel that work command uh select objects to explode that'll be this one we'll hit enter so now we have it in two pieces right now we'll do that clean up here. Where is it? Right there. Uh, clean up, flay edges, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is probably way too much. Let's do a 0.2. Uh, we just want a very small little uh, uh, curve on there. There we go. And then we'll go ahead here. There we go. Okay, so we still get the flower type uh, look, but uh, we have it all nice and smooth. And it's all joined together. Now we'll do that transform array. Uh, array, polar array, item uh, center of polar array right here in the center of this line. Uh, and then hit enter, and we already have it set up at six, and enter, and enter, and we have that, right, and enter. Okay. Uh, so we have this out here. And let's see. Uh, yeah, that's probably pretty close that I want. Let's see. Let's turn it to line here and just check it. Yeah because our piping's coming through. Let's go ahead and turn that on real quick, see what it's going to look like. Yeah, that's probably... We could probably take this one maybe and bump it up a little bit, just so we have a little extra room in there. So I'm going to hold down Shift, grab that checkerboard, and just kind of bump it up a little bit. Yeah, maybe something like that. And let's go ahead and hide this and hide that surface. Now we can we can manipulate this. We can take it all right, and we can kind of maybe shrink it down a little bit if that's what we want. Uh, but we'll we can play around with it more as well at, after we get it on top, so we can kind of really see what it's going to look like. So let's go ahead and get rid of that, and we'll just keep this uh, as is. And now I have a little bit of uh, overlapping here for some reason. I guess it didn't split totally where I wanted it. So let's go ahead and select that those peach. And let's do some trim action here. Let's get rid of this here and get rid of that there. And we'll hit uh, accept or enter. All right. Uh, so we have this out here. Of course, we're just giving it a rough layout right now. And uh, let's see, we got this, and then we're going to have that little area over here, but we can mess with that area here once we get it up to the top. Uh, so let's take a look here. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do is go ahead and make that head for the diamond. And that'll probably be one of the last things we flow up there, but we might as well go ahead and get it out of the way. So let's go to our curves. Uh, let's grab an arc direction uh one two three down and we'll snap it we want it to go inside this this one here right uh and then we'll bring it over to down our line and we do have our grid snaps on so it's snapping right there to my line right and we'll kind of i actually should have probably put a diamond out there first and draw something like that and actually i'm going to go grab a stone so let's put it out whoa way too big maybe a five oh, not that let's get rid of that let's just grab another one and i want to grab the right uh, and then kind of bring it down i think a 2.5 is a five pointer uh so something like that yeah that should be okay now that's a little too far out there maybe but we'll check it out. So let's uh, go ahead and accept that diamond. And, and we'll just go ahead and click here. And we'll transform that into all four areas. So uh, click on a mirror, uh, X, Y, and multi. And I'll draw our little uh, triangular thing out there, right? So let's go ahead and grab that. And we'll join it together. And then now we can manipulate this, right? 
So let's bring this end in a little bit. Something like that. So it's a little bit more uh, in our area there, right? Yeah. Maybe this side out just pinch. So something like that. So we have a little space here going around, right? Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this curve and I'm going to go to my, uh, back to my curves ribbon and I'm going to go all the way down here to the end to my offset curve and I'm going to offset that curve. Uh, let's see. The rounded edges, let's change those to pointed. Let's keep them at uh, sharp. Uh, so let's see. Eh. That's probably okay. What is it? Point 0.4? Yeah, that's probably okay. So we'll take that. Now we'll take these two and we're just going to grab our ball there and extrude them down just a pinch, just a little. We, we really don't want that surface. We just uh, want uh, to use the, the surface. Okay, so now we'll go to a surface and we will do a blend from chain edges. So we'll grab this one. This one, not that one. Let's see, okay. This one, chain edges. Okay, I'm gonna back out of that. Something went crazy there. It's chain edges, uh, this surface here, or that edge there, that edge there. This, I won't select that edge for some reason. Probably because I'm missing something down here. There we go. Select that edge and then select that edge, right? Uh, that's our first segment. Select segment for the second edge and that'll be our inside here. This one, this one, this one, and that one. And now it gives us our uh, blend handles there. So we'll go ahead and uh, hit enter. And it gives it, well, that's pretty cool, uh, but we don't want that. Uh, so we'll uh, same height it. So it'll go same height. And actually, that doesn't look too bad. Kind of gives me a little dome effect there, right? And But we will change it to tangency. So it'll flatten out a little bit. Looks a little bit better. We can go ahead and lock it if you want. You can move it up and down however you want. So there's a lot of manipulation you can do in here. Uh, but we'll just say this is okay for us right here. And we'll take that. Yeah, and actually, that's probably not a bad height. We might want to just go ahead and keep it. Let's go to our front and take a look how deep. Uh, it's only maybe three quarters of the length. So let's go ahead and get rid of these two surfaces. Okay, and then we'll take those curves again. Could have probably drug them down originally. Uh, grab that curve there and grab this, hold down shift, grab this outside curve. Now we're going to go from this area here and we'll extrude it down a little bit further past our stone, something like this, right? Uh, and there we go, right? Okay, so we have that. And let's go ahead. Well, we're going to have to get rid of some of this inside surface here. So let's uh, leave that the way it is for right now. Now we're going to uh, grab that curve again. And it didn't give me my gumball. And I really want my gumball. There we go. Got my gumball. And I'm going to drag it down just a little bit. And hopefully, yeah, I thought so. I'm going to have to break uh, history here. But let's see. Uh... Well, actually, what I can do is I can go ahead and take it and I can uh, duplicate it uh, in place and change it to red. Uh, and then when I grab it and drag it just a smidge, it should break history. I'll grab that original curve. Yeah, it broke history. Okay, that's what I wanted. All right, now if I grab that red curve, hopefully, uh, I can drag that down. Yeah, uh, okay, I'll drag the yellow curve down. <laughs> Let's grab the yellow curve. I want the yellow curve. Extrusion, polysurface, extrusion. Wait, did I get rid of that yellow curve? Okay, so let's take this 
fight it, take this, fight it, take this, fight it, and, okay. Well, actually, I can use it, oh, I dragged it down, that's why it wasn't at the same place. So, there we go, let's uh, go ahead and bring this back. Let's change this one to this bright green color here, so we can kind of get a good look. And we just want to, we want this to be the base, right, uh, underneath our stone. So, just to go underneath our stone, so let's just go ahead and... Uh, do a, a planar curve on it so we can kind of see and actually that's not bad right there okay so we have that surface right uh, now we can take this surface here and we can split it uh, with this surface here and then hit enter and then grab that uh, surface and then delete it so now that is all um, closed off right and now we can take this this and this and join it together and we can should be able to go ahead and see a p yep there we go and we should have a closed poly surface which we do all right so we have that out there let's take that and i don't know i don't know if i really want it on yellow so we'll change it to this light brown here yummy all right so something like that all right and you can go ahead and, at this point and put your prongs on there so let's go ahead and do that since we're here in the command so uh or we have it highlighted and everything uh let's go and uh, just go to our settings and let's grab the prong on surface and say select surface that'll be this surface here and it'll throw us one out there that's the diameter we want to probably make that a little bit bigger uh so let's take it up to 0.8 something like that and we could probably bump that out a little bit doesn't need to go in that far something like that right uh, and then just we want to lower that height of course we don't want it so high bump it down to something like that and then hit enter right now what we can do is just take that go to uh rotate uh copy on or copy yes f4 go from our top hold down shift and then one two and three so that'll give us the four prongs so there's our item there and at this point if you wanted to you can go ahead and do your cutter on it and i'm not going to mess around with it. i'll just take the default and we'll just take this and we will go to solids uh boolean difference uh, with this one here and enter and blow the why did it blow that huh that's interesting okay so let's go back abort command and let's check that surface one more time it says varies now close poly surface close poly surface cutter cutter will definitely be closed so let's try that again boolean difference this is our first one enter this is our second one enter and there we go okay so let's take this and we'll change it to this peach color here okay and let's oh that that is my item there okay so let's go ahead and take that let's go ahead and change it to this and then let's i don't know let's get, get rid of that surface those are my get rid of that surface let's bring that back just to take a look at it yeah okay so it's there uh so we'll change it to this one here and turn it off and then turn that surface off so now we have that item there right <clears throat> uh which will that we don't want to flow either because it would really distort those edges and drag them way out there and the prongs and everything else so we want to just drag that up at in the future right uh so let's turn that off all right so we have this let's spin it around where it's supposed to be And now let, let's just go ahead, let's get rid of these curves. We'll turn them to blue, all right? And let's get rid of, we'll just turn off purple and off blue. Well, let's see what's going on here now, right? So let's go ahead and get our top surface up there and might as well just start working on it, right? Uh, so let's go to uh, curves menu and we will go to the front here project and it'll say select curves points to project we're just going to select all this and uh, we're going to hit enter and then objects select objects to project to uh, this 
and hit enter and it says direction top uh, to project is the project to the top so it'll go up you can already see the lines on there uh, and we'll hit enter right so here we go now comes the fun stuff all right so we have this out here if i was to take this and try to pipe it uh it probably will eh, it looks pretty good doesn't look bad but this right here is kind of uh hinky right uh and that's because it comes to a point so uh let's go ahead and back out of that let's abort that and let's go and back out of this one more time so we can just do it all at one time and let's take this curve and i'll hide that one more time here and we want to just give that a little ue right a little smoothness so let's go ahead and clean up let's see if this will work yep there we go okay uh so now let's bring that back let's go to our front here and do that project one more time project wait for the command uh select curves and points to project we'll just select it all uh we'll hit enter we'll take it to the top project to the top they're already there and then enter and now let's go ahead and uh We'll turn this off real quick. We'll grab all this, turn it back on so we can kind of get a look, see what's going on out here. And we'll just go to solids and just pipe it here. And now we have a much better piping there, right? Okay, and actually that looks okay. I can live with that. So let's go ahead in here. Maybe we want to bump this part up a little bit uh, to maybe a 4-1 like our outer rail there uh so we'll just make it easy go over here uh point uh four one enter uh point four one it kind of really makes our curves in there a little hinky looking right so i'm going to drop it back to point three uh, which is a six point six a little over a half right and that's a three point five let's take that to uh point three as well so there we go okay so we have that. Yeah. Probably should have split that, but that's okay. We'll hit enter. And it hit it, of course. So we'll bring everything back up so we can kind of see what's going on. Okay, and these are kind of maybe budding up a little bit closer than I wanted. So let's go ahead and uh, at this point and let's bring up this so we can kind of see what's going on and we can readjust everything if we need be, right? Uh, so we'll select all this, we'll go to all perspectives, and we will uh, just drag it up to where we want it. Okay, so it's going to break history, so let's go back. Uh, so the best way to do it, you can break history and all that, but really it's just as easy to go ahead and uh, duplicate. And then from the F4 right there. And then we can drag it up by holding down Shift up to here. And then just get rid of it. Now we can manipulate this one without having to worry about everything going crazy on us. right? So that's what we're going to do. And we'll just hide that other one here in a bit. So we got this out here. That's maybe a little too much. All perspectives probably would be good. Maybe a little down further. Something like that, perhaps. Okay. And it looks like I grabbed my lines here, too. So let's go ahead and get rid of the... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Crisis. Uh, grab that. 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 Sorry. All right. Uh, so we have that, but maybe we don't want it mm, straight, right? It kind of looks, uh, I don't know, a little bit uh, crazy, right? So let's go ahead and we'll probably have to redo those prongs, but let's grab that. Let's go to our transform. Uh, let's go to bend, right? And then what do we want to bend? We want to bend uh, this edge over here, right? So let's bend that and then let's take uh, symmetry on so we can take it and we can drag it down like this and it will take both sides so we can get kind of the flow of the ring going on right and let's take a look at that and that looks okay so we'll just go ahead and say that's good 
And then we'll take this green one and uh, we better save it. So we'll just turn it on there. All right. And probably shouldn't have done that cutout. Yeah, probably should not have done that cutout originally. Just wait until I got it on top because it looks like it distorted our item there but that's kind of okay because all we have to do is just grab another gem and we will drag it well first we'll make it down to around a, a we'll make this one a 2.6 well we'll keep it at 2.5 we'll drag it up so we can get it into place okay that's the 2.5 that was originally right so we want to drag it maybe a little bit bigger so we have just have a bigger stone. So just remember, uh, probably don't do that uh, cut out at the bottom. That's really no big deal. Uh, let's drop that down a little. Don't really need the history on this, but might as well keep it. Something like that. Yeah. Okay, that looks cool. All right, so we have all this out there. Now, uh, let's see, what do we want to do? That actually looks pretty good, but I don't like... Well, that's okay. You could, if you wanted to, uh, take this first of all and then ungroup it, right? So, because right now it's all grouped together. Uh, maybe you want to drag this over a little bit. I mean, there's all kind of manipulation. I'm not going to waste a lot of time. Let's just uh, go ahead and get this thing uh, finished. We can move it over, right? If you wanted more space right in there for some reason, right? Uh, we, you can just move it over. And then you, if maybe, depending on how this fall, flows out, you might have to do a little bullion right here with this. But that's no big deal. Uh, we just give it a little bit more space. Uh, and then we'll just go ahead and select. I don't know if I want to do it right now or do it later. Uh, let's go ahead. Well, at this point, we don't need any of this down here because we're just going to work off our top now. Uh, more Well, no, that's probably not true. So let's just go ahead and uh, we'll keep it. Turn it to this. We can get rid of those stones, get rid of those problems. Those, those we don't need. Okay. So, yeah, we'll probably still need it because we we'll want to project some stuff up there instead of drawing it out, right? uh so let's take this here real quick all these lines down here so we can keep those see where things are at and we'll just hide those and i'm going to come over super select uh select all curve oh it's selecting my curves that are hidden i just want the curve well we can deselect these here and we can delete all those at top all right all right so what do we got here it's looking pretty good so far. We'll need one coming out here. And we'll need some design over in here. And we'll need a, where's that outside or outside line? Uh, no, that will get rid of. Okay, so we we'll, we'll want to maybe make a copy of this edge here so we can kind of see what's going on with that to give us a little bit more look to see what's what's going on let's see let's turn on yeah trying to figure out what i want to do here well let's just go ahead and take all of this here so i can kind of get a better look what's going on i can actually even take that and maybe oh Bump that a little smaller. Drag that out a little. No, 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 not that. But you can do all kind of manipulation up here, right? Yeah, that looks better. Okay, and that that those edges are coming out right, but actually they're going right into those uh, marquees there, marquee flower shaped. So that looks okay. So we'll want to add some more detail in here, right? All right, so let's go ahead and select all this and just hide it for a second. And we'll select those two 
and hide those because we want to keep those. All right, so let's go to our top. Kind of take a look at what we want to do in here. So let's uh, grab a curve. Let's go with uh, red. Let's try red and let's grab some lines. And from uh, F4 perhaps, we'll go start from F4 and we'll just snap it kind of like right in there. Bring back another one. Bring back another one. Go to F4 and kind of just give some... Uh, look out here something like this and we could probably do all three but probably won't work as good as if we did them by ourselves or by themselves and put some beads on them right and right now the beads are like majorly huge and as you can tell the beads aren't really kind of going where we want so if i go to not spacing size and bring them down it's still kind of messing up right so let's back out of that. let's do them individually uh we'll grab some uh beads we'll grab this one and drag it down to there our first ones are already on there so we're, we're okay let's get in here and we're gonna get a good look i don't think we want it all the way but we we want to put those beads on at top so we're just gonna leave those lines right there for right now uh Yeah, let's go ahead and take those lines, though. Let's take this. Take those three red lines. And let's go to Project. Select Objects to Project 2. This here, Enter. Enter, and there's our three lines. That one is not going to do any good. So let's uh, ungroup those. And let's just go ahead and delete that one. We'll just keep this one and this one here. We need to mirror this. Well, not right now. We'll grab that one. We'll put some uh, uh, solids on. Put some beads in position. We'll kind of just drag it right into wherever we want it. Size down and spacing closer together. There we go something like that and we can take this one so it goes right in there like that and maybe bump this one out a little bit and do that spacing a little bit tighter there we go okay and we'll grab this one bring it back bring that over there do some more adjustments uh, start size I don't want to roll it There we go. Okay, so we got some beating going on there. All right. All right, so that's okay. Want something maybe in here. So let's go to our curves. Let's go to arc direction again. Kind of liking that tool a lot. Arc direction, uh, wrong one. Third one down. Let's go to a turn on project, right? So it'll project it to our uh, lower level there, right? And let's go ahead and turn off snaps and turn off grid snaps. So we'll, we'll kind of put it like right in here maybe. And we'll drag it over to right in here. And we'll just give a little arc, something like this. And it, it put it down there at the bottom, right? So now all we have to do is grab it, go to project, this surface, enter, and then there it is. Uh, and enter again so we have it there so now we can just go ahead and maybe if you want some beading on there or however you want to lay it out uh, something like that start size where's our start size you don't want to probably go past a five uh, and then bring uh, keep on grabbing that there we go there we go. And bring it all the way into there. Hit enter. All right, so we have that. Uh, we're just gonna mirror it over to this side, so no big deal. And this out here, right? So let's turn off our green. Let's grab, uh, go to our from object, right? 
uh, from object and we'll do duplicate edge we're on red so it should be okay uh, select edges to duplicate uh, that'll be this one this one and it goes all the way around so we'll hit enter uh, and we'll go ahead and join those together just so we have them and we will C plane them, snap them down to the C plane. Uh, so with our top viewport clicked or activated, right, we'll go to project to C point and we do not want that uh, edge at the top anymore. So we have the one at the bottom. Okay, so we have that. Okay, and go ahead and turn on all this all right so let's take this and let's kind of look from the top maybe wireframe will be good and let's grab this here and kind of drag it in a little bit something like this all right and let's take a look at it see what it looks like let's go ahead and project that since uh we're here uh so we'll go to surface Project this, enter the surface here, enter, enter, and there's our projection right there, right? And we don't want all that in there, maybe just coming around like this, right? Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll undo that real quick. I just wanted to check it out. So uh, we'll go to uh, line curve, turn on our O snaps here real quick. And we will split this curve, split with this, enter, get rid of that. And we don't want this up here, so we're going to take, well, let's get rid of that curve because we don't want it. Uh, take this curve here, and let's split it with this curve. And then hit enter, and let's get rid of that. Now let's project, we can get rid of that one too, we just want this side here, right? So let's go to our project, grab that curve there, hit enter, select that server there, enter, enter, and then there's that curve. And let's go to solids and do a piping. There we go. Yeah, okay, and we'll hit enter. All right, so let's go ahead and do some mirroring so we can kind of see what's going on out here. So we'll grab uh, all the stuff we want to mirror from north to south. Not that. Actually, let's just click off that and then turn it off. Uh, and then let's select all our lines down here and we'll just hide them for right now. We want to, uh, for first, this, 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 and this. Yeah. And then uh, go to transform and go to mirror, right? And it should turn off our X, turn on our Y. So mirror all that over there and hit enter. That's okay. And what else? Let's see. We want this, 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 and this. And I think that's it. And then mirror that in our XY multi directions and enter, right? So now we have this going on. Right? So it gives us a little kind of look out there, right? Uh, the last thing, you know, just kind of figure out what kind of design you want to go in there. Because I tell you, there's uh, it's endless, right? Um, let's grab our curves back out there. Uh, and we can go ahead and select all this up here and then go of course go ahead and select these and hide them uh, and grab everything else and hide it because we don't need it and now you just have to figure out what kind of design you want in there so just draw your curves out i'm going to go ahead and take all this since i know i have it all i'm going to change it to a yellow i'm going to keep working in red just so i can see these lines and where they're at uh and then Where's that? Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Let's see here. All right. Well, let's turn that on just so we can see where that's at. All right. So we need something in here and whatever. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's put some kind of design here. So let's go to... Uh, 
curve line curve here we'll just draw a line from here to here right uh and i don't know what we want to do in here uh let's go to our, our favorite curve arc direction let's kind of draw a curve out here like this uh draw another one maybe from over here to down here something like that and just kind of give it a little crazy look going on here right so we'll just do something like that and we'll just select all that red let's see what it looks like before we flow it up there yeah it doesn't whatever yeah okay so let's uh, go ahead and uh, bring back our item here and let's select that red project it to our surface enter then we can take all this and turn it to yellow she was all yeah. and then we can take our red and go to solids and pipe it oh it piped those because they were red up there so i'm going to undo that real quick uh well I'll just abort that i'm going to go ahead and just uh, select them so i'm going to turn off that surface I'll select this and ungroup. Get rid of this one and this one and this one here. And we'll go ahead and pipe it. And hit enter. Okay, so th at this point, we can go ahead and take that now and transform so we can kind of keep an eye on what's going on out here. X on, Y on, multi on. And it'll flow all that around to all those edges there. All right. So now we just need to do something in this area here, right? Yeah, we pretty much got our center done, I think. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. So we just have to connect all that outside together, right? So let's go ahead and turn back to this and let's bring back our uh, surface there and let's go ahead and duplicate. Well, before I do that, let's go down here. I'm going to take, that's all yellow. So let's go. All right. We're good. All right. So let's go back to our curves. Let's grab uh, another uh, from object and we'll just duplicate the border. We'll board that surface to duplicate our border that would be this one hit enter it should be red we'll hit enter we'll take uh that surface go ahead and hide it we'll take green and hide it. this is the one we want i'm going to go ahead and get rid of all this red up here now since uh, we already have a, our items out there and we don't need to flow them again and again and again like I'm doing. <laughs> uh, transform. Uh, make sure we're in our uh, active in our top viewport. Uh, project to C plane. Select objects to project. That'll be this. Hit enter. Uh, and uh, delete. Yes, we don't want it. So, okay. Now it's down there. So we can kind of see what's going on with it. And we have all that out there. We just need to figure out what we want to do in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this one, since we don't want to pipe that one again, and we're just going to change it to a yellow. Uh, we're going to work off of red. I'm going to go to my curves, go to a line curve. And first one I'm going to do is right here. All right, I want to box off that. Uh, and I'm not sure we have a lot of space there to work with anything, but let's uh, go ahead and uh, go to our favorite curve, arc direction. Let's see if we can get one in there, maybe. Uh, arc direction, one here, over to something like that, something like that, you know, whatever. Uh, and then we'll just do another arc direction, something like this. Do an arc direction from that mid, kind of just throw out some kind of crazy design shape, right? going around our inside there. Yeah, I don't want that. I'm going to take that and split it with this here and hit enter and get rid of that piece there. I don't want it flowing out, right? Go back to my arc direction. 
and just keep drawing something that I kind of like. Maybe. We'll find out here in a minute. And we can go all the way to that mid, right? So we'll take over here. There we go. And I don't have a curve here. Yes, good. Okay, so let's... Yeah, that should be okay. Let's go ahead and bring back everything. And with our top activated, well, we don't need to. Uh, we can go to any viewport. Uh, we'll go to that project command again. And we will take all that red. Select curves and points to project. That'll be our red. Uh, and hit enter. And then we'll select this here. And then enter and enter. And now we'll just go ahead and grab all that red. And we will do that solid pipe one more time. And something moved, I think, because it's not exactly on there. Very good. At least this part's not. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that real quick and see if I can manipulate. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'll see if I can manipulate it a little. Uh, okay. Didn't. Did not work. So I'm going to undo that. All right, so first of all, we don't need this down here. So let's uh, ungroup everything. Uh, and let's just grab this and see if we can just bring it in. Yeah. And then we'll just bring that in. All right. And there was nothing right in here, so that's okay. That looks decent. Oh, did not want to draw it up. There we go. Everything else looks okay. Yeah. Okay, so we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and grab this stuff down here, though. Delete, 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 delete. Okay. So now all we have to do is just grab this stuff. And if I wouldn't have... That's on our inside, so we don't want that. We want just the outside pieces here, right? We're going to group those together. And we're going to transform. Mirror. XY on. Multi on. Hit enter. And we'll get rid of this surface. Hide it. And we'll go ahead and grab all this. And hide it. And we'll take this and change it to green so now it's all together and let's take a look yeah cool wow uh that that one right here right uh is not going to work for us right uh so yeah because it's coming across so but that's real easy fix right so also all we have to do is go to our front view go to our surface uh, small, small uh, fixers, right? So we'll just grab this, go in here like this, and we will grab that one we don't like right here, and we will split it with this item right here. Hit enter, get rid of that, and now we can get rid of this piece here. We can go back to it. Uh, which one was it now? <laughs> uh, which one? This one here. And I think it's this one here. And now we can do, let's group those together. Might as well, right? Uh, group them and then we'll go ahead, transform mirror in our Y direction, which, no, an X direction, not Y. And then hit enter, there it goes. And it put them back up there, right? And let's take a look at it. Yeah. Wow. All right, uh, so we are pretty much done with this uh, for the most part. We got a curve out here. Let's get rid of that. Let's show everything so we can find out. Uh, we don't need that. Let's go ahead and grab everything. I'm just going to go ahead down here and turn it to this color here. Uh, and I'm going to bring back my ring rail at this point. And we need to just put a shank on it, right? And again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, uh, but you could do a lot of different things. You can taper it down by put, adding another profile. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go in here and, and do a uh, same width 
pro, uh, profile. So I'm going to extract an ISO curve from right there uh, and put it pretty close to my mid there, right? And then I'll just hit enter and then I'll just go ahead and hide all my green, right? Uh, and let's get rid of all these curves and let's put you in high. Yeah, we'll hide you. All right, so we have that line out there. Uh, I'll just grab a line uh, with my, well, turn off project at this point. Uh, snap it there, snap it there, take all that, join it together, and it should be on my ring rail. All right, yeah, okay, so we'll take that. We will uh, mirror it over to the other side, uh, hit enter. Uh, and I think we, uh, let's do the old because we it'll, you know we drew these out right so the uh seam is not going to be in the right areas but if we do a uh sweep one old one all right we select our rail and then we select our profiles and hit enter we can move those around to make sure that they're in the right area versus going back in there and changing those seams hit enter all right and we'll hit okay now let's bring back our ring uh, and as you can see, we have pretty much a seamless flow going right into that uh, shank, which is pretty cool. Last thing we need to do maybe is just go ahead and grab one of them uh, and go to Tools and do a Profile uh, Cap. And we can, you know, you can draw it out however much you want. I'll just say that's good to go, which is pretty much zero it looks like. Let's undo that. Let's do it again. I want to see what it is. 0.3, you know, you can drag it up so that it kind of goes right in there, whatever, whatever you want. Uh, and then we can take that. We can uh, go back to our favorite command <laughs> mirror. Uh, and it'll slap one over to the other side. Hit enter. So we have this, this, and this. Just make sure it joins together. Okay, so we can do all our Boolean or basically this one i wouldn't even bother doing boolean i would just take it all go to manufacturing and do a mesh repair on it instead of trying to go through there and uh put it all together uh of course you can cut that out no big deal let's get our stone out there so right there and let's take that and turn it to green and we should be besides you know boolean it all together uh, we'll go to ray traced. And we're pretty much done, right? Yeah. And you got a pretty cool looking ring. Uh, very original, I think. <laughs> uh, but you can uh, draw it out, you know, pretty much however you want with the, uh, different profiles on the edges going around, right? Uh, the one thing, I guess, before I go, right? No, it looks, it's looking good. Uh, these profiles were originally rounded. What I did was I did a wire cut to get rid of, uh, make those flat, uh, just so you know. Uh, maybe I didn't show that in the video, but these will be rounded. Your profile won't light up. Your, it'll be a little rounded there. Just go in here and type in command line wire cut. Uh, and then just select your rail there. Select the items to wire cut, which will be those uh, one one two three four uh, and maybe this one up here uh and then just draw that wire cut out or you can do an extrusion and do a boolean uh either or they'll all work uh but this is it uh so hopefully the video helps you and uh you know it's pretty cool uh there's a lot of things you can do in here just creating all different kinds of designs kind of unique and original so thanks for watching please if the videos are helping leave a comment share the video subscribe uh tap the bell for notifications thanks very much and uh good designing